Unwrapping the drama. Understanding, chewing the scenery. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the theatrical world of expressions with a phrase that's as vivid as it is dramatic. Chewing the scenery. This phrase paints a picture with words, but what does it actually mean? Let's peel back the curtains and explore the essence of this expressive phrase. Perfect for anyone looking to add a dash of drama to their English vocabulary. At its core, chewing the scenery refers to an actor who is overacting or being too dramatic in their performance. Imagine someone on stage or in a film who is not just stealing the spotlight but devouring it. Their emotions so exaggerated that they metaphorically chew on the scenery around them. This phrase is often used in a slightly negative or humorous way to describe performances where subtlety is thrown out the window in favor of grand, sweeping gestures and emotional explosions. The term, chewing the scenery, has its roots in the world of theater. It's believed to have originated from the idea that an actor's performance was so intense and over the top that they could be imagined as literally trying to eat the set or scenery. This expression captures the essence of theatrical excess, where the physical environment becomes a casualty of the actor's fervent delivery. While the exact origin is difficult to pinpoint, its use has been well documented in critiques and discussions of theatrical and cinematic performances over the years. While chewing the scenery is rooted in theatrical critique, it has found its way into everyday English to describe any situation where someone is being overly dramatic or excessively emotional. This could be in a professional setting, during a passionate debate, or even in personal stories where the storyteller adds a layer of drama that overshadows the actual events. Recognizing and using this phrase can add a playful, critical, or descriptive flair to your conversations about performances, both on stage and in life. To truly grasp chewing the scenery, let's look at some memorable examples from pop culture. Actors known for their larger-than-life portrayals, such as Nicolas Cage in many of his films, or the theatrical delivery of lines by William Shatner as Captain Kirk in Star Trek, offer perfect illustrations. These performances, where the emotional delivery is cranked up to 11, help us see the fine line between powerful acting and stepping into the territory of chewing the scenery. And that's a wrap on chewing the scenery. Whether you're a budding actor, a film enthusiast, or just someone who loves the richness of the English language, understanding and using phrases like this can add color and depth to your conversations. Remember, language is our scenery, and how we choose to chew, it can make all the difference in our expressions. Thanks for joining me on this dramatic journey, and I hope you found this exploration both enlightening and entertaining. See you in the next video.